नमस्कार टुडे लाइफ हैज बिकम डिजिटल एवरीथिंग इज ऑनलाइन फ्रॉम एंटरटेनमेंट एजुकेशन टू बैंकिंग टू शॉपिंग एवरीथिंग हैज बिकम डिजिटल नाउ इंटरनेट एंड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज एवरीवेयर वी हैव टू लिव with that it is making life very easy but we have to see the other angle also the technology which has made the life easy has also made the life easy for the criminals also criminals erstwhile had to go to the place where they want to rob a bank where they want to rob a house now they don't want to go anywhere sitting in their cozy rooms they are robbing it now it has become a very effortless very cost saving and this phenomenon is coming with the digital life with the internet if you see crime and a technology both always have effect of each other crime is a human mind phenomena it's not a technology phenomena crime is committed by human against a human technology is there which is being used by the humans to achieve their objective and in cyber world also the criminal mind is using this technology to commit various kind of crimes and these crimes which are committed in cyber world in cyber space are nothing but cyber crimes now cyber crime has become a tremendous issue globally and locally also it is not limited only to organizations to nation states or to few society people but it is causing harm to everybody including you and me so first understand what is this cyber crime cyber crime in a simple definition we can say it is a crime committed with the computer crime committed for the computer and by the computer by a criminal so crime committed using a computer using computer to facilitate or stealing data or what you are from the computer is nothing but cyber crime and this crime if you see globally now has a turn more in trillions if you see in india in last 20 years each year from 2000 to 2020 each year this crime rose by 100% each year you can feel the quantum now it is happening with everybody so people are getting it known that oh the crime is there in a crime if you see crime is committed either for property or a money and secondly it is committed for reputation property in digital world is digital money your data and your identity and second is your reputation reputation that is there on social media and whole internet what you you have a footprint we call it a digital now let us concentrate who are the people which are committing the crime these people particularly criminals are organized syndicates there are state sponsored active activists state sponsored organizations few of the cyber crimes or we can say at a large scale are also committed by nation state 
there are some hacktivist and script kitties. They are doing it for curiosity. But these are one of the best brains. But equally, there are few people who are not much educated, but they know how to commit a crime. They are also there. So, a user who don't know much about the technology, but using that technology has to face these criminal minds and the corporations or the organizations or criminal syndicates which who they, they are with their objective are doing this activity. Why they do it? Because it is the money, it is the reputation and it is the identity with which they can do anything on the internet and they can finish an individual if the identity is stolen digitally in digital world. If you see in a cyber crime, there are three components which need to be taken care. One is a technology, another is a human element and third one is the processes. These are the three important elements because the entire internet technology is basically developed considering a user. And user is a human who basically uses that technology to do a everyday work like from e-shopping to entertainment to education to transaction to communication. In these three aspects, human link is supposed to be the weakest. But my argument is that it is the strongest link. It is the only defense that is the most important, less costly and is and can be achieved easily. So if you see how we can turn this weakest link into a strongest wall, a strongest defense and it is through a cyber hygiene. Cyber hygiene is a key to safe and secure digital life. Then what is mean by cyber hygiene? Cyber hygiene is nothing but a practices, set of practices that we have to inculcate or set of habits that we have to inculcate while we are in a digital world. These habits will save us from different kind of crimes. We have to correlate this cyber hygiene with a physical health hygiene. To be a healthy person, we require three things. One, a sound body, a sound mind and a good nutrition. To have a sound mind or a brain, we have to feed it with the good thoughts. For a healthy body, we have a set of practices including exercise and washing your hands, waking up daily, having a sound sleep. And for the nutrition, we have to intake a good food. These are few, we can say, practices for a healthy person. Similarly, the hygienic practices which are used in physical health world, we can similarly correlate considering our behavior in the cyber world as one body. What is there in the cyber world? First, that a human, his or her thoughts or expressions that are through words, images, videos and other ways. Then the identity. We enter into the cyber world with our persona that we called identity, which is through user ID and password or maybe through biometric. Then our behavior. 
devices and networks. This is the entire gamut. And in cyber hygiene, we have to achieve the best practices that in turn we have to make it into habits first about the data. Data is like your head, is your brain, the most important thing which you have to protect. So always keep a backup of the data. You can feel that your data have nothing important to the world. But yes, every data is important. And that can be used against you. Then we have identity. Your physical identity, nothing matters. It is your digital identity that matters in the digital world. Because through that digital identity, all transactions and communications are done. Protecting that digital identity is very important. And for that, always keep in mind, don't share your user ID and password to others. Even with your friends, I will give an example. Two friends, both were female, adolescents, were having very good friendship and they used to share their user ID passwords on their mobile so that they can instantly upload each other's videos when they were shooting each other's videos. But soon their friendship turned a soul. A third friend came in between and then they had a quad. In that, both that friends started to share such a kind of images and videos which should not have been. So story here is that we should not trust with user ID and password with anybody because it is your identity. Social media, now you feel it just like a way to express everything. It is people feel it is a gate to freedom. Yeah, you can express anything, but consider whatever you can do in a society, in a public, that only you should do on social media. Because once on the internet, it is always there on the internet. No photo, video, audio or text which are once sent on the social media can be deleted permanently because there are thousands of organizations who are harvesting and storing the data. So when you are on social media, keep your behavior, how you behave in a public function, how you behave in front of your parents, how you behave in front of your relatives. If any video, any action that you can share with your family, you can share on social media. The next thing is about devices. We use devices. Now, the convergence of technology has made a mobile the most powerful device on the earth. It is there with you always while you are working, sleeping or traveling. It is the most efficient device, but it is the best surveillance and data collecting and sending device. It can make your life easy and make your life healthy. So device, carrying the device, always keep your device with you. Clean your device periodically for data. Don't keep data which is not relevant with you. Always take a back. Always check which applications are there and which you require really. The applications which you don't use, 
may be weekly or monthly don't keep it and always upgrade the operating systems then the network don't use a free network that is available in public places because that is the point where one enters into your device so if you follow the cyber hygiene in your digital world i feel that it is the best immunity pill it is the best defense that we can have in digital world and that is the way to survive in the digital world jai hind